Hello everybody, this is Alexey Kavazin and today I will present you the very important part of Firebird setup which is very often omitted and ignored by database administrators and uh, infrastructure divisions of companies. Firebird clients, why it is important to have modern versions of Firebird clients installed. Let's start with some basic information. So when we are thinking about the Firebird uh, as a client server system, we often think that uh, there is some server, which is Firebird, and client as our application, which we have developed. But actually, uh, the client for the Firebird is not your application. Strictly speaking, uh, the client for Firebird is uh, library or driver which implements the network protocol uh, because in order to send and receive data from your applications firebird requires uh, to send them in some specific format so when you are doing some select all from my table there are a lot of uh, uh, work done behind the scenes so firebird opens the connection, opens the transactions, prepare the query, after that execute the query and after that starts to send results. Uh, results also are being sent in some parts and so on. So all these parts uh, of data exchange is uh, known as a network protocol. Firebird network protocol is one of the most important parts of logic in Firebird as a server and also in, in, in the client. When you have a client library like FB client or some could have GDS32 uh, DLLs or when you are using the Jbird or Firebird.net, uh, this software implements Firebird network protocol in order to send and receive data from Firebird. So this is really uh, low level and uh, important part of the of, of the system overall. And uh, as you can understand, network protocol is not a really simple thing, right? It it requires a lot of uh, debugging. It deals with TCP IP stacks uh, and so on. So uh, it is pretty complex thing. Let's, let's say it's simple. And as you know, the Firebird works pretty good when you are using the clients from old versions with the new server. So for example, you have started to work with Firebird 3, install it 3.0.1, for example, and install it all uh, libraries like 301 and they have versions uh, FB client has version 301. After that you have updated to 302, 303 and now you are at 3012 for example but client library could be still 301 and still works. Moreover it is possible and uh, in the some migration scenarios it is possible that really old versions like 2.1 also will work. Uh, but the, the question is, is this work really effective? Uh, and answer is no. Answer is no. First of all, there is a um, big amount of changes uh, between uh, various versions. Even between the Firebird uh, minor releases, the Firebird clients can have significant improvements, which really improve the performance. Uh, especially, for example, if you are using something old like 2.5 and you are still using client like 2.5.0, there is a dramatic difference in performance, overall performance noticeable in your application between 2.5.0 and uh, latest clients like 259. Why it is why it is so? Uh, when 
the server and client are establishing the connection, they need to negotiate the what version of the protocol they will use. And uh, if you are connecting to 5.5, for example, with a big client DLL from 2.5, uh, the 5.5 will choose the lowest version of available network protocols in order to connect, in order to establish connection with the uh, client from 2.5. And as a result, uh, all improvements, all uh, you know, good things, bug fixes and so on will be uh, not available for this uh, version, for this for chosen protocol, if it, if it is like old protocol. Specifically, we can say that there were a lot of a lot of changes in Fiber 3. Uh, the protocol was improved a lot, and in Fiber 3, there were tests uh, which show it that uh, Fiber 3 works really well through the internet, with some exception about blobs. But uh, comparing with 2.5, the Fiber 3 really improved the performance of internet, and the improvements was not only about the internet, there were some general improvements, uh, stability fixes and so on. What are signs that uh, you are probably using the old clients uh, and which are, which are not working effect efficiently or they are not working correctly? First of all, in Fibert log, uh, there could be a lot of uh, 10,054 in Windows and 104 errors. You know, the dis disconnects error really annoying in Fibert log, they pollute the log. One of the reasons could be the old version of your Fibert client. Also, there could be loss of performance. Uh, however, it is not possible to say why, you know, why there is a loss of performance until you will change to the new version of the client and make some tests or maybe just check it visually if there is improvement in your application especially in the operations like fetches of a lot of data creating a big report with a lot of output and so on uh, also the the the, the direct uh, uh, consequences of having the old clients will be the lack information in monitoring tables. For example, if you are connecting with 1.5 FB client DLL to 2.5 server, oh, uh, there could definitely will be signs that clients are old. There will be no information in uh, monitoring tables because the since Fibert client does not report to the Fibert server information about the IP address, name of the uh, application which is using this DLL and so on. The, in monitoring tables you will see FB, uh, we will see lack of this important information. So definitely there could be uh, other errors and uh, just to polish things and just to make sure that there is uh, no, uh, just, you know, just to close this potential sink, this potential source of problems, it is really necessary to update your clients and use uh, the client versions corresponded to the server version. So how we can identify the versions of hybrid clients? Uh, it is really simple. You just need to start with the following query. Select distinct mon client versions from mon attachments. Uh, if your Firebird is you know, too old to see this information, well, you need to update <laughs> to the new version of Firebird. Uh, but also, of course, it's also a sign that you, know, you just need to check it, to check clients manually, which is not really convenient. Anyway, uh, this query will show the client versions. And the good thing, if they will be aligned to the Firebird server version. 
Also, where could be uh, connections through the Java driver, Jbird, Fiber.net, and so on. Are the you know drivers which implement the protocol, uh, not using the FB client uh, DLL, and of course, it is a good reason to update to the newer versions of the Fiber.net and Jbird, and so on. So it is pretty clear what you should do, you know, to get rid of the possible problems with Fiber clients, just to use the same version, uh, the same version of the Fiber clients as your Fiber server has. Uh, so looks easy, but uh, always there are some peculiarities. For example, if we have a really close version like 3.0.11 and I just installed 3.0.12, is it, you know, does it make sense to update all the uh, all the computers? Especially this question uh, uh, is important for those who uh, has the uh, installation of clients which are distributed through all the computers, not like you know loading uh, the executable and FB client DLL from the same. Uh, shared folder, which is a popular configuration, but distributed through all computers and these computers can be in some remote places. And so this is a big work for administrator or, you know, to implement some script to deliver, to change the FB client version and so on. So, so uh, the question is, should we really, you know, worry about it? Well, if you really want the polish it and 100% correct system, yes, you need to update and make sure that all clients have the same version as the Fiber server has. It is not so critical if you are, you know, have difference like 3011, 3012. You just need to update all your clients uh, in some calm manner. So there is no rush, but it must be done. Of course, the same uh, thing applies for the non-native drivers, but by non-native I mean those uh, drivers which does not, which do not use the um, FB client DLL to implement network protocol, like Jbird and Fiber.net. So, of course, you need to use the latest version of these uh, drivers to ensure the performance, stability, and so on. Not only in areas where they, uh, these drivers have fixes, but also just to use the latest uh, available version of network protocol with all fixes and improvements. And in the end of the presentation, I would like to, uh, to make the announce and uh, invite all Fibot supporters to the exclusive Fibot performance webinar. Uh, this webinar is a closed uh, live event, which will be, um, you know, hosted, presented by the Vladislav Horson, uh, the Fiber Core developer, uh, who is responsible and who implemented the big part of the Fiber internal uh, performance things. So he's the, you know, the mastermind behind the super server architecture in Fiber 3 and a lot of, a lot of many, many changes and uh, features of Fiber. And also, I will help uh, with uh, you know some maybe less deep questions when uh, Vlad uh, you know <laughs> likes to answer. Oh, just kidding. Of course, so we will do this presentation together, uh, and we will try to address the most important performance issues uh, with Firebird, focusing with the newest improvements in Firebird Five, but not only some you know things which are over, often overlook it and so on. Uh, it will be presented at November 26 by Zoom. Uh, who can attend? Uh, this event only for uh, those, for Fibert supporters, Fibert associates, Fibert partners and Fibert sponsors. So uh, also you, if you are old member of uh, Fibert Foundation Australia and your membership is still paid up till the date of webinar, uh, actually, there are not so many such people. <laughs> uh, you can also attend. So, I would recommend you to 
join the webinar for this you need to become the Firebird supporter and support development of Firebird with some you know monetary uh, investments which starts like from with 10 euros per month and this is really important for funding Firebird not only for you know attending this webinar because if you are using Firebird you probably invested a lot in uh, development of your system and uh, all your clients uh, which are using Firebird also depends on it so consider to become the Firebird supporter and as a benefit you will uh, have access to the these types of exclusive uh, webinars but not only there are a lot of benefits and there will be more to come so this is you know just you know looks like a good deal for all Firebird uh, professionals so if you have any questions about this presentation please feel free to uh, send them to me to this email and also please become Firebird supporter now thank you